Oh, hey there. You wondering how I made this DIY lawn level? Well, stick around and I'll show you. Let's get started. So I made this lawn level right here a couple days ago. It's all from stuff you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Menards, if that's in your area. Home Depot and Lowe's is mostly in my area. And Ace Hardware, I always get a lot of my bolts and uh, screws and nuts like that, just because it's easier to pick from those from that store. But a lot of this stuff you can find there. I'll leave links below if you want to get this up online. I'll leave product links below. I made this myself. It cost me, I would say, a little bit under uh, $65. Um, as we know, uh, these loan levels, they are a lot of money. Um, I'll leave links to those as well below if you're interested in the, the expensive ones. Um, but this thing, I think it's just, it's made just as nice. As you can see, when I opened up the video, the intro here, it smoothed out very well. Um, it's very sturdy. It's This uh, angle iron here, it's pretty strong. Um, it's one and one quarter inch. Uh, and it's 18 gauge uh, angle iron so it's a pretty strong angle iron here um the only the probably the most costly part of this diy uh, loan level is the angle iron obviously you know steel costs a little bit of money the bolts are pretty they're super cheap uh this broom handle here it's about 10 bucks and then this is just a one inch uh, t right here pvc t um, and I'm going to show you how I put it together and how you can cut it out and make this at home next. So I'm going to remain probably pretty much out of frame a lot of this video because I really want to show you guys uh, the, you know, how to cut everything out and, and how to measure everything out. Uh, the long panel right here, this is one piece, one angle iron piece. This is 36 inches long. You have another one down here that's 36 inches long. You have a 12 inch here. You have a 12 inch in the middle that's holding your pole here together. And then you have another 12 inch down here. As you can see here, I have the angle iron held together with 12 bolts in these different corners here. And the bolt that I'm using is called a carriage bolt. And the carriage bolt has a flat bottom, which is great because you want this, obviously, this part's gonna be flat on the ground. These are one inch, they are one quarter, and they're one inch long carriage bolts. And I have a washer, going through i have a lock nut washer and then i have a regular nut as well that's holding these carriage bolts together to the angle iron so like i was saying you put your bolt through i put my washer that fits through my one quarter inch uh, bolt here i put a lock washer on top and then i put the nut through and then the socket that you want to use is you want to use a socket that's a longer socket like this because you want to be able to fit that in there like that so you can get it tightened. You know, if you have a shorter socket, say down here, obviously it's going to hit that bolt. And this is a seven, I'm going to read it to you. It's a seven sixteenth inch socket. Um, that's what fits this uh, bolt right here. It's a, that fits this uh, one, the, the one quarter bolt right here. And then you're just going to screw that obviously all the way down until it's tight and you're going to do that obviously in all the corners so you can cut this multiple ways um, what i suggest you do is either have a miter saw with a metal blade that can cut metal or you could get an angle grinder a lot of us should have angle grinders if we're sharpening blades this is my blade this is my flap disc that i use to sharpen my blades with but they also sell a cutting blade just like this one right here you could pick these up pretty much anywhere. Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight sells them as well. So I'll leave a link if you guys don't know what this looks like or don't know what this is. I'll leave a link below. But you could obviously cut this angle with this. And like I said, you're just going to measure it out 36 inches and cut wherever it's at. You just want to make sure that you obviously, you don't want to cut, you don't want to cut like in between these holes right here. You know, you want to at least, you know, cut it like right after one of these holes. You don't want to cut it right in the middle. Um, and I'm going to show you why next. So here's a close up of one of the corners. You have the 36 inch at the top, the 12 inch right here on the side. So as we come in closer, you can see I cut right before that first hole right there on the angle iron. And all you're going to do is, is once you cut your 12 inch right before that first hole as well, you're just going to line it up as best as you can at a 90 degree. And then don't worry about lining up this hole with this hole right here. 
because I found that you're not really going to be able to line it up perfectly. So all I did was take out a 5 16 drill bit from my DeWalt drill bit set and then just drill the hole right through here. And then all you have to do is get your carriage bolt again and you're going to feed it through the bottom because you want that flat part on the bottom. And then I, I can't do it right now, I only have one hand. But then you're going to put your washers on there and your nuts and you're going to tighten everything down. So the last step here is, is once you line up your your two middle pieces here that are 12 inches and basically what you want to do is just find the middle of the 36 inch here right here dab in the middle at 18. What you want to do is, is you want to put that T right there. You want to put these two plates and put them flush to the T on both sides and then from there you can obviously screw these in and then obviously the last part as well is the 16 inch here. You can basically just put it wherever you feel is the strongest. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is more just of a strengthening of the uh, this, the rectangle that we have here. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this off and give you guys a little bit closer look how I did this. So all this is is basically a broom handle. There is a little nub here at the end and what I did was just cut it off enough so I can stick my one inch T here in the middle here and then basically from there you just want to make sure you drill a hole right through to both sides. Once you drill that hole through both sides what you want to do is get a bolt like this. These bolts they have very different names I've seen online. I've seen cap screw bolt um, with a hex uh, end here again it's a this is a one quarter uh, inch uh, hex right here and then basically what you want to do is get a washer on both sides I just have one for now you're gonna feed that through and make sure you put it between your two angles down there and then this is gonna act as your uh, basically your holder for your broom handle so just to demonstrate right now the ability of this rake I got two little topsoil piles right here I'm going to take my rake and just push these out. And what's really nice is this, this is a 72 inch handle and a lot of the rakes that you'll buy that are, are, that are pretty expensive, they're 72 inches. So as you can see, it works very well. This topsoil is a little wet and I'm really not having any trouble pushing this out to level off this area right here. My goal is, is when I get back from vacation, I'm gonna level off a lot more of my lawn with topsoil, um, and this is what I'm gonna be using. This DIY lawn level rake right here. And like I said, it cost me probably a little bit less than $65, plus tax obviously. Always gotta, always gotta account for tax in anything in life, you know. But you can't beat this. You can save yourself money if you're willing to do a little bit of work. Um, I'll leave, like again, product links below for a lot of the items. Probably not the bolts. The bolts are a little bit hard to find specifically what you want. But like I did, I showed you. They're one inch and they're half inch carriage bolts. You can find them. I go to Ace a lot to get my bolts just because it's very easy to pick things out. It's very cheap. You know, you're usually spending like 50 cents, 60 cents for a bolt, a nut, whatever. So, you know, that's pretty cheap as far as bolts go. But like I said, I'll leave a product link below for this 72 inch pole right here. It's just basically a wood broom pole that's 72 inches long. You got the one and one quarter inch 18 gauge angle iron down there. Then you got the one inch PVC T and a lot of this stuff, like I said, you can find at those big box stores from Depot, Lowe's, probably Menards if you're in that area. If you're willing to put in the work, this is a great leveling tool and that's going to last you a long time. So like I said, I'll leave product links below uh, and please check out those product links. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments on what I did today, you can comment below and I will get back to you. Um, again, if you're going to cut this metal, please cut at your own risk. Make sure you wear safety equipment, safety glasses, goggles, whatever. Um, this metal will flake, it will hit you. 
so please wear protective gear when you're cutting this metal and cut at your own risk. If you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my channel. They can find this video on the DIY lawn level rake right here. And also, if you're new, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of great grass content, a lot of great uh, grass equipment content. I do a lot of reviews on different things on my channel. If you're interested in the grass seed that I'm going to be using for the overseed for this year, for my grass right here behind me, check out this video right here. It's all about the grass seed that I'm using this year. It's really great grass seed. I recommend you check out that video. And also, if you're interested in an affordable backpack sprayer and you're tired of the hose end sprayer options, I have two really great options right here. So check out this video right here and make sure you hit that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on future content. And I'll see you in the next one.